There are a couple of things you'll learn quickly when you're using power sanders. Use one with too little power for the task and it can take forever. Too much power and you'll see how fast you can ruin your project. That's where it's good to have a random orbit sander. It falls somewhere in between a heavy duty belt sander and a light duty finish sander. They may have a pistol grip, right angle grip, or a palm grip, but they're distinguishable by the disc shaped sanding pad. Depending on the type you have, you'll install the sanding sheet with a peel and stick adhesive or a hook and loop disc. This round sanding pad vibrates in tiny loops and at the same time it spins in circles. This prevents swirl marks and it also works fast. So hold the sander firmly. It's strong enough to skip away on you, but don't press down on it. Just use the weight of your arm. You want to cover the surface evenly so you can use pencil marks as a guide and keep it moving at an even smooth pace about one inch per second and overlap your passes letting less than half the pad go past the edge. Don't press on it. You'll create scratches and you'll also slow the machine down. Also don't let dust build up. It prevents the sander from doing its job. Keep the dust collector clean or hook up a shop vac. This lets the sander work faster and keeps the air cleaner. Don't tilt it. Keep it level or you'll leave marks or you could round off edges. The Random Orbit Sander has the power to remove wood quickly, but it's not as aggressive as a belt sander, and its motion prevents swirl marks that you can get with a finish sander. That makes it useful for DIYers, especially for these tasks. If you've got an uneven surface that needs smoothing out, smoothing out over rough spots after using a belt sander, or quickly sanding a surface when you're working from rough to finer grit sandpapers. Here are some more helpful tips. Always wear eye protection, hearing protection, and a dust mask. You'll usually find five or six inch sized discs. If you're a serious DIYer, go for the six inch disc. It'll make your job faster. The hook and loop pads tend to be more expensive, but they're faster to change than adhesive pads. Unplug the tool before changing the pads or emptying the dust collector so you don't hit the trigger accidentally. Check the trigger to be sure it's in the off position before plugging it in, and never rest the sander on your project. For the tips, advice, and tools you need, visit your neighborhood Ace, and find us online at acehardware.com. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware flow.